class yesterday? We played instruments. That's right. And does anybody play any instruments at home? Yes, Anna. I play piano. You play piano? Yeah. And when you started playing, were you really good? No. No? Did you have to practice to get better? Yes. Yeah? Okay, so today we're going to read a book called Mole Music. Mm. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the first page of this book. And so we're going to ask an I wonder question. So my I wonder question before reading was, I wonder if the book will be about a coyote. Because there's a coyote on the first page. So does anybody have any questions? So you're going to think about them in your head, and then you're going to write them on the post-its, okay? And so today I'm going to teach you how to ask questions before reading, okay? Okay. So now that we all have our I wonder questions for before reading, we're going to start our book. So this book is called Mole Music, written and illustrated by David McPhail. Ooh. Mole lived all alone underground. He spent his days digging tunnels. At night, he ate his supper in front of the TV and then went to bed. Mole liked his life, but lately he had begun to feel there was something missing. Hmm. One night on the television, a man played the violin. He made the most beautiful music Mole had ever heard. I want to make beautiful music too, Mole said to himself. So the next day, he sent away for a violin of his own. Every day, Mole checked his mailbox. No violin. Finally, nearly three weeks, it had arrived. Mole was so excited. He picked up the violin and drew the bow across the strings. But instead of beautiful music, all he made was a horrible screeching sound. Mole tried again. The violin still screeched, but not quite so horribly. Mole kept at it. After about a week, he could play one note, then two. And before a month went by, he could play an entire scale. Okay, so now we've reached kind of a halfway point in our book. So does anybody have any questions yet? I do. What's your question, Michael? Is the mole going to get better at playing violin? Ooh, I really like that question. Can you come put your post-it on the during reading board? Awesome. Okay, so everyone else, I want you guys to think of a question. Now you guys can use words like how, when, what, which, who, all those types of words to start your questions off. Or you can keep using your I wonder words, okay? Now, Mole played even better than the man he'd seen on TV so long ago. Sometimes he wondered what it would be like to play music for people. He imagined himself playing before a huge audience. He imagined that he would play for presidents and queens. He even imagined that his music could reach into people's hearts and melt away their anger and sadness. Why, maybe his magic could even change the world. Mole laughed at himself. How silly I am, he thought, imagining that my music could do all of that when no one has even heard it. Mole played one more song, then put his violin down and went to sleep. He dreamed beautiful, peaceful dreams. The end. Okay, so the last part of our lesson is we're gonna go back to our before reading, during reading, and after reading questions and see if we've answered any of them. Okay, so the first question is, I wonder if the book will be about a coyote. So was the book about a coyote, guys? No. No? no? Okay, so that's great. We've answered our question. Check right there. Okay, so the next question is, I wonder if there will be a squirrel and a nut in our story. Was that question answered? 
What was the answer? No. No? There was no squirrel in that net? No. No? Good job. Okay. Will the mole play a concert? Did the mole play a concert in our book, guys? Yeah. He did. Who was the concert for? Animals. His the friends. Animals and the friends and the... Oh, and there was the princesses in it, too? Good job. Okay, and here's our after reading questions. Where will the mole play next? Now, do we know where the mole is going to play next? No. 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 So, is this a question that can be answered today? No. 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 But does it really matter to our story? <laughs> no. No. Because even though we don't know everything that's going to happen after the story ends, that's okay, because we enjoyed the story for what it was, right? Yay! Yay. Okay. Mm. And did the mole actually play for all of those people? So we saw those people in our book, right? We saw all these people that he was playing for, and he was thinking like, oh, I'd really like to play for all these knights, and I could solve wars and all these things. Now, it kind of looks like he played for them, right? It looks like up above when he was thinking about how he wanted to solve all these wars and make people happy with his music, that they were up here. So do you guys think that he actually solved wars and he actually played for those people? Or do we think that it was just in his imagination? He was imagining it. He was imagining it? Great. Okay. Thanks, guys. That was an awesome lesson. And what did we learn today? To practice so you get better. And what else? Moles. And using to your imagination. Questions. Questions. Questions.